Hello there, my name is Mr. Smart Anki and welcome to my let's play of the Bureau XCOM Declassified. So, um, this game is actually, it's quite funny because it seems to be sort of a mix between like four games. Obviously XCOM because it's in the XCOM universe, uh, has a lot of the same enemies as it has in XCOM Enemy Unknown and also the first XCOM. Um, but also, it seems to be a bit like Mafia because of the time the game plays in, uh, you'll see in a minute. Um, it's a lot like Mass Effect in the way the gameplay works. Uh, it's a third person tactical shooter, I guess, um, where you have some teammates and you can tell them what to do and all that. Very much like Mass Effect, uh, sorry, yeah, Mass Effect. And um, actually the HUD looks a lot like Bioshock. So it's a mix between uh, a lot of really good games, at least for what I've te seen so far. I haven't. Uh, played the game too much. I only did about 10 minutes of test recording. Anyway, so it's uh, also similar to XCOM Enemy Unknown where I can have soldiers in the game. So uh, if you guys want your soldier in the game, of course, leave your first name and last name. I don't think I need a nickname, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, I already have about 15 names ready because I've made a little video before asking you guys for names. Um, so most of the people that have already left a comment are probably going to be in the game. Anyway, I think we should start a new game. Brightness all fine. Yep, this is all fine too. Right, so difficulty. There's four difficulties. Rookie, squaddy, vet, and commander. Um, I really wish to ride or three or five because then I would take the middle one. In this case, I don't know what to take because I, I don't know. I, f I feel squaddy would probably be too easy or it would seem like I'm a pussy for playing on squaddy. Uh, but veteran might be extremely, well, a little bit too difficult. So I don't exactly no, but I think I am going to go with Veteran. I think uh, we could do a little bit of a challenge here. Uh, I'm sure it'll be fine. Plus, it'll, it, it's more likely that people will die, which means I can uh, recruit more people or you guys into the game, and then everyone gets a chance to play. Um, right, so you will need to, you need to use tactics and teamwork to prevail. Agents that are not revival bleed out and die. The base is the only recreation to recruit new agents, so manage your roster carefully. All right, I think uh, I'm just going to go into this game on Veteran. We've been intercepting these signals for the past six months. We still don't know their origin, but our analysts have concluded that they are encrypted orders for sleeper agents operating inside this country. Just the sort of thing Mr. Hoover has been warning about. Soviet operatives have penetrated the very highest levels of our military and government. It is a fact. The NSA is not convinced that this is a Soviet operation. Director Falk. Is this going to devolve into another one of your outsider briefings? Well, there's been a new development. A device was recently recovered from the Illyrium mine in Bannock, Montana. The technology is unknown to us, but suggests the activity of a far more sophisticated organization. And where is this device? Close. Send Agent Carter down. <laughs> Agent Carter. Who wants to know? Your escort. Director's orders. I don't need an escort. Well, you're getting one. How much have you been told? My orders are to deliver that case to Director Falk. That is all. And you haven't even been the least bit curious to what's inside? Uh, no. Good. But I'll have to make sure. No one touches that case except Director Falk and me. We'll see about that. Uh. 
It's here. This is it. Alright, so we are what now... The, the gunshot. It, it's healed. We're now in the game, I was gonna say. So, I have... Something burned her. But what? No idea what happened here. And he doesn't know either, so... So that's the suitcase. The case. What happened? Well, it's... Uh, my head. It's on the floor, that's what it is. Alright, so, um... I think we're gonna get out of here now. Oh, we have a gun. That is always nice. Ah, alright, so we can see our health and shit. Shit. They're dead. What's happening Jesus here? Christ, we're under attack! Take cover! You can definitely see the HUD is a little bit like, uh... The HUD is a little bit like, um... A Bioshock. I'm gonna talk about your freaking UFO, man. And again, that very similar to Mass Effect. And then again, I mean, it's similar to Gears of War as well. So you could you could compare it to anything, really. Keep your cool, Will. Stay low and move. <sighs> Poor kids. Never had a chance. Gunned down at Chow. They didn't see it coming. They did not see it coming. And now they're all dead. It's a shame. Oh, those things look awesome. So, 60s or 70s or whatever this is. I believe it is 60s. Was it say 62 or something? I guess it's 70. I don't know. I don't know, man. Can I open this door? No, I didn't think so. Holy fucking shit. What the hell? Holy shit. Oh, you can do this stuff as well. It's awesome. Get back! <laughs> All right. Get back! Line them up and take the shot. You've done it a hundred times. Alright. Lots of sectoids. Get down, piece of shit. Seems like not all of them are full health, actually. Alright. Gotta keep moving. I got it. Got it, man. Mr. William Carter. Alright, let's get the hell in here. He has unequipped our gun. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Okay. Oh, hello Agent there, Carter. sir. I'm Agent Nils. Hello, Agent Nils. Director Falk ordered me to... Falk? Is he still alive? Last I heard. Grab that two-way over there and try to reach him. Two-way? That's a two... Oh, right. Radio. Oh, that's awesome. Two-way. I like Director that. Falk, come in. This is Carter. This is Agent Kenny. The director and I are defending the sub-level lab. Do you have an escape route? We're maintaining position until you and Nils report for evac. 
Right. I'm on my way. Get to the advanced materials warehouse and take the elevator to the sublevel. We'll hold here as long as we can. Come on, we can cut through here. Agent Niels, I want your gun, please. Hand it over. That is an order. Alright, hold on. Photo. Entrance to the labs. Okay. Alright, just examine it. We don't take it or anything, alright. Oh, I love this this stuff. That's so cool. Jesus, what's happening out there? Come in. Come in, anyone. Enemies jamming long-range communications. We're on our own. God damn it! Alright. Yes, get your pistol out. It's probably a good idea. Okay, we got our health. It uh, doesn't seem I can control him yet. Okay, so I, I didn't get this far, by the way. I started talking to him, and that's when I quit. Okay. Where the hell are we going? Bunch of soldiers over here. Oh, crap. Oh, the stairs. Damn it. See if you can open the door. I'll meet you inside. All right, man. I'll All give right. my best shot. We gotta get that door oh, open. Yeah. Standard U.S. military model M14 rifle, 7.62 millimeter ammunition, fully automatic. What? Why? You got? You guys do use millimeter, but you don't use centimeters. You use inches and, inches and shit. That doesn't make any sense. I just, I just figured Sorry, that out. Soldier, I need this more than you do. I just figured that after 21 years. A squad commander lives and dies by their choices on the battlefield. Charging into combat only gets a brave soldier shot. If a commander wants to achieve victory over superior forces, they must be observant, creative, and precise. Oh my god. What the hell happened there? Keep quiet. They're here. Get in position behind those crates. I'll flank them from the window. Opening fire! Nowhere to hide, you bastards! Eat lead! I can't aim. There we go. Die! 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 Ah! Hey. There you go. They're dead. Let's move. This is awesome. That got him. Let's meet up by the door on the other side. Okay. I got this. Don't worry about me, man. Oh, that's you. Okay. I thought I saw something move, but it was him. Nice shot. You're good, Carter. I am. I used to be. Bullshit. Falk wouldn't be interested in you if you weren't the best. We'll see. I'm amazing. And don't even tell me anything else. Oh wait, did you just open? No, you didn't. Okay, I was just gonna explore. I thought maybe there's some secrets around there. I don't know how this game works, if there's even secrets or anything like it. That doesn't look very good at all. <laughs> What the? Oh, they went away. Nothing we could do for him. Nope. Poor bastard. Where did they go? Can I go in here? No, I doubt it. Where did those damn sectoids go? I don't see fuck all over here. Get some fire on that ship! They are slowing down! Hit them with everything we've got! Oh shit! Incoming! Hold your positions! Keep firing! It's not good, man. I think it's taking tanks apart like nobody's business. Cover and position will keep your agents safe and opens the enemy to attack. You can cue actions for your agents, such as moving to a position and firing on an exposed enemy. Watch for opportunities and make every shot count. The battlefield can be your ally if you use it well. I'll keep that Open in mind. Fire! Oh shit. They got some kind of machine gun nest. Enemy Hold on, I've got an idea. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, I can do this shit now. Okay, so uh, use the mouse to highlight Neil's things. Press to select. Oh, right, here we go. Okay, so I can heal. Cool. He can mark a target. Can I still move the camera around? Oh, yeah, I can. Sweet. Okay, that's cool. So he can mark a target. He can move. He can cloak. He can critical strike and fire. Fire mission? 
fight. Okay, I don't know what that means. Anyway, I, I, I guess I can tell him to flank around, but I'm already doing that, so why would I want to do that? Anyway, let's see how that works anyway. Okay, so we can tell him to move. Well, you know what? Move up to this corner or something. Get down! Watch my back! And then I guess I can get out of this again by... Oh, so, oh, it actually wants me to do this crap. Okay, never mind. Uh, it wants me to do that, and then... Hit yeah. it hard! Press space to deactivate Bellamos and execute orders. Alright, let's go. I've got this one! Oh, wow, nice. Look at him. Reinforcements! Oh, crap. Set up crossfire. No crossfire? Oh, Am I supposed to do anything with crossfire? What, what, what? What, what? I don't know what fire mission is. I don't understand what it means. Maybe it just means... Oh, hold on. More info. Makes the target agent's highest priority. Okay. Move, well, move, I know what it is. Critical strike. Inflicts heavy damage to any target on the battlefield. Cloak renders agent invisible. Nice. And bombards an enemy with heavy... Uh, an area with heavy artillery. That sounds pretty cool. How about we do that? There's a whole bunch of enemies over here. Hit the area! Hard! That'll Bring work. in support fire! We'll figure it out after they're dead! Oh, I guess that's gonna miss everyone. Oh, no, I think I hit a few of them. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's a lot of health. Down prick. I believe there's one more at least. Uh, let's uh. Trouble here. Need orders. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna. Oh no, I didn't want to do that. Cancel. Cancel. I want to move you. Uh, right over there. Get behind cover. Adjusting. Okay. I'm gonna Hide. cloak you, so you can do that. I guess. Yeah, no, it works. What are you still shooting him for? He's cloaked. Man, they have tons of health. Alright. Good job, man. If you're cloaking. Uh, press F2 to order your agents to regroup. Get Move over here. Yeah, I'm right here. Oh, now he's cloaked. Look at him. That's pretty cool. You can barely even see him. Where's Thomas Niels? Oh, there he is. Okay. Right. Oh, that's over with. I need this gun. Any other gun? I, I guess I can't take the guns. If there's anything like XCOM Enemy Unknown. Oh, he does, he does have a pistol. Unless that pistol is just randomly there. But if, it, if it's anything like XCOM Enemy Unknown, their guns disappear when you kill them, unless you can stun them, which I don't know if that's possible in this game. Anyway, let's move on. Hmm, another pistol. Through here. The warehouse is just ahead. Okay, ooh, what's this? Another M14. What's that? Bullets! I'll take him. Wow, I have 200 bullets right now. I don't think I'll be running out anytime soon. Holy crap. Holy crap. Is it a dud? No. Whatever it was, it's not supposed to explode. Whoa, what that? what's that thing? An outsider. I'm not gonna bother headshotting it from here. Oh, hold on. Hold the phone. Let's see. This does this work? I want you to critical strike that guy. Make him hurt. Taking aim. What is it? Oh, let's not stick around to find out. I think he murdered it. Watch out, Carter. They're here. Freight elevators in here. Ray's coming at us. I want you to move right over here. Cover there. I'm on my way. Oh, oh crap! Didn't mean to do that. I'm here. I'm here! I have plenty of ammo, I don't really have to do... I don't really have to be too careful with it. Although I feel like I'm missing more than I'm hitting. Oh no, he took damage. What did I do? Ooh, grenade. Whoa. What the hell just exploded over there? Combo kill! C-c-c-combo kill! The elevator will take us down to Director Falk. Okay, hold on, let me get this grenade over here. Whoa, how did he get over there so fast? What are you, some sort of... Oh, hello, I'll take a shotgun. Ooh, hold on, was that a rifle as well over there? Standard US military model 1897-12 gauge. Pump shotgun for close combat. That was something else, yeah, oh, it's just an M14 again. Oh, oh, right, that's, okay. Hit the call button, before more of them well, show I'll up. Take the, I'll take the shotgun. Ooh, hello. I guess this is just another shotgun. Ammo. Uh, no. I don't know if a shotgun's a good choice. Oh, 
Okay, so three grenades is max, because apparently I have three, even though I only picked up two. Jesus. How many of them are there? I don't know, man. I'm just looking for goodies. Give me a break here. You don't need to keep talking to me. I'm not really interested in what you're saying right now. Okay. Uh, yeah, full on grenades. I don't need an M14. Yeah, I think I'm done here. Oh. Let's call that elevator. Too exposed. Come on, come on. Outside. GM! You hear that? They're outside. Grab some cover. Where do you want me, Carter? I want you. Oh, shit. I keep doing. Oh, God, God damn it. God damn it! I want you to move right over there. Take cover. Head it there. And I want you to cloak. cloak up. And then I want you to shoot that guy right in the face. Take him down. C -c -c combo kill. Oh shit, what the fuck is that thing? Oh, what the? Yeah, shotguns are really gonna do much for me here. Yeah, it's not doing a whole lot of damage, and I'm getting flanked over here. Good for a grenade, but. Yeah, that'll work. Ho ho! C -c -c combo kill! No, 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 no. Oh, fuck. Well, oh, I do have a shotgun. Be a darn shame. Oh, shit. What the? Oh, wow. I did not see that thing. Oh, fuck. I'm down. Help me up. Help me up, sir. It's here. Finish him off. I need a hand here. Hold still. I got you. Okay, good. He got me. Heal me up, Niels. God damn it, Niels. God damn it. Hurry up. Me, yeah, I would have done the same for you, actually. Fucking hell, the shotgun is weak. Oh shit, you're nearly dead, dude. Oh, you're alright. Oh, let me do that. Fucking hell, that thing. Nearly dead. Get out of here, drone. Okay, he's fucking... Sh he's fucked. Holy shit. I'm gonna heal him. I have a heal. I'm gonna use it. Let me just grab this grenade here. Yeah, I know. I'm coming. Here. Sit right next to me here for a sec. I'm gonna heal- Oh, my heal's up half a minute cooldown for some reason. Alright, you crit the- Crit strike that guy. He's in cover. Oh, he's aiming. Take him while he's aiming. Right through that thing, because you don't give a shit. Okay. That's it. Let's head down. I'm doing horrible so far. They're different. I think they're giving the orders. The others are just grunts. Jesus. Let's get out of here. Come on. Let's yeah, go. I don't want that shotgun anymore. Even when in close range, it seems quite weak. I think I'm full. Yeah, I am. 200, 200 bullets is the max. Maybe I'm not using it right. I don't know. It, it, I don't know. Do we know it makes Fox me exposed, then it's not that good. The old man's tough as nails. And he's got Kinney and Weaver to watch his back. Yeah. But who says they can be trusted? They've been with us since the beginning. If anyone's loyal to Falk, it's those two. More Mass Effect elevators. <laughs> yeah, I'm not that. I'm not doing that good so far. What the hell? I didn't. I only saw that for like half a second. I wasn't paying attention. Jesus. What the fuck. Holy hell. Poor bastard. We never stood a chance. We've got to reach Director Falk before they do. Loyalty's got nothing to do with it. Just before the attack, one of our people turned on me. One of ours? I think she was infected with something. Her eyes turned black. She shot me and went after the case I was carrying. She shot you? Yeah. I don't know what happened after that. Whatever was in that case, it killed her. And saved my goddamn life. Okay. Alright. Okay. Damn it. What the fuck? Is that blood or is that some weird fucking... So where do we find Falk? The Illyrium lab is just ahead. What's Illyrium? I don't think you're cleared for that. I don't think it... Oh yeah, okay, so apparently that guy is actually higher than I am. Anyway, Director Frost, it is with all due respect that... Uh, respect for you and the organization you represent that I compose this note imploring you to please reign in the actions of one Agent Angela Weaver currently in your employ. The audacity of Agent Weaver's action of late can only be motivated by perplexing and utterly unfounded paranoia, General Deems. Matters anymore. Right. Well, 
We found it a couple years ago. Didn't take long to figure out that it's an extraterrestrial element. Some sort of space rock. Can't be a coincidence that these outsiders attacked the only Illyrium lab on Earth. That is indeed not a coincidence. Huh? Dead person over here. What's that? Photo. What does it mean? I don't know. Anything over here? What are, oh, what the? Oh shit! I didn't mean to. My <laughs> my mouse accidentally hit my keyboard, which made me shoot. What does it mean? Again, no clue, sir. Anyway, let's move along. There's a guy there. Oh, there's several guys. You there. Stop. Stand down, soldier. Agent Nils, good to see you alive. Agent Carter, we need to talk. That's right. William Carter, Agent Second Class CIA, reporting as ordered. Now, can I get some answers? You had an artifact to deliver. Do you have it? It was destroyed. Even more mass fact. It was destroyed in the fighting, sir. I'd be dead if it hadn't somehow healed my wounds. Interesting. When we get out of here, my team will want to do some tests. Sir, with respect, my assignment here is temporary. Under the circumstances, I should report immediately to Director Frost. We have to assume that the Director of Central Intelligence is dead. Sorry, Carter, but the protocols are clear. You work for me now. Prick. Um, right. Where else did they attack? What are, what are these things? Why are they attacking? What do we do now? Uh, where else? I can't just be here. Uncertain. There's been a nationwide communications blackout. I'm working under the assumption that Washington has been hit. My God. For now, we have to assume the worst. What are they? Do we know anything about these things? We've theorized about these outsiders for some time. But this is our first confirmed contact. And it's gone just great. We were hoping to learn more from that artifact you lost. But now, we've got no shortage of material to study. I just want to know one thing. How to get rid of them. You and me both, Carter. Why are they attacking? Why did they attack us? We've got a lot of theories, but no answers. Maybe they're from the moon, and they don't want us coming there first. This is hardly the time for jokes, Agent Carter. <laughs> I think it's quite funny. And it's always times for joke. Time for jokes, even. We can't stay here. First we evacuate this facility. Then we'll figure out how to strike back. Getting out of here is gonna be tough. I've got to finish securing the research here. Without it, we won't have a chance. You, Nils, and Agent Kinney, collect the commanders in the war room and lead them to the rail platform. Understood. All right, we got Kinney. He's following commander. All right, can I like give them an order to like s stay in cover or something? Agent Carter, good to meet. Yeah, good to meet you too, sir. What do you have? You got scatter, which is oh, causes enemies to panic and flee an area. That's nice. You've got mine, deploys an explosive proximity mine, and you've got a laser turret. That sounds pretty good. Mr. Niels, you can go now. We've got uh, Mr. Kinney over here. All right. Save it until we're out of here, Agent. Kinney, what happened to Agent Weaver? She headed towards the war room a little while ago. No word if she made it. She'll turn up. She always does. I was not expecting that door to open like that. <laughs> All right. Oh, there's a bunch of outsiders there. Yeah, that's a red one. He looks different. Unless it's just because of that light, I'm not sure. They also look a lot different than they do in um, an enemy Down unknown. Down there, in the lab. What are they doing? Don't know, don't care. Get into position while they're distracted. Okay. Seems like a pretty good idea. Um, can we? No. It's ammo though, but I'm full. Oh, no, I'm not full. I wasted one bullet. Well, wasted. Yeah, I guess it's a waste, technically. Since it wasn't used for anything useful, it would be considered a waste. But, enough about wastage. Uh, <laughs> when under fire, press space to make a plan in battle focus. More of those little greys! Shut the fuck up! Piece of shit. Okay, right. Uh, let's see. I want. I want you to cloak. Use your cloak. Cloaking. And then I want you to move. 
right over there. Cover, move. And I want you to set up a laser turret. Right here, I guess. Set up a turret. Turret? You got it. Can you throw a mine like somewhere or can you just place it? I guess I don't know if this is placing it or not, so I'm gonna cancel this for now. We'll figure it out later. Uh and then I want you to move. On the move. There, God, get the fuck. there we go. And I want you to Cover move there. there. Heading there. Let's take him down. All right. Oh right. It's, okay, that's awesome. The turret he just teleports there. That's so awesome. I didn't know that. Obviously. Wow. They have a lot of fucking health. Yeah. I need to more. I need to shoot more like that because they have way too much health. Dude, stop shooting my fucking turret. Well, technically, can you turret? They're not closing. Oh yeah, orders right. You can do a critical strike on that Finish guy. Finish it off. And yeah, I guess we're gonna do a fire mission here. I want you to yeah see if we can throw that mine down or if he's gonna walk it up. I've got this one. Don't you know walk it up? Lay down a mine. mine out. Lay down a mine. Okay, he does throw it. Oh, that's so sweet. I love this game. Your hands up for Detroit. I love the city. Oh fucking! Okay, that doesn't hurt me. Good. That is good to know. That's it. Let's move on. I am loving I this game right Falk now. I see wants you for the bureau, Carter. That's what I told him. This is this is fucking sweet. I love the way the abilities work. It, like they're quite easy to use. Basically, you don't have to walk up and throw that turret down. The mine fucking deploys on itself. And shit like that. It's awesome. Anyway. A memo to private lawns. Isn't a memo for like a lot of people, not just for one? Uh, whatever. Um, William, Car oh maybe, maybe, maybe it's not. Maybe it's just short for mem uh, something to remember. Whatever. Fuck off. Uh, William Carter is not to leave quarters unless in the custody of Lieutenant Garber Paul. Photographic identification of both Garber Paul and William Carter are included with this correspondence. The these orders are of the highest priority. Under no circumstances anyone other than the courier himself to manipulate Manhandle or in any way come into physical contact with the case trusted to his charge. Lieutenant Kerr. Okay, anything else over here? I do not think so. Alright. We should move on then. What did it look like upstairs, Nils? Bad. We lost the base. The boys are in full retreat. What did this? Let's not find out. Just get to the war room, collect the brass, and get out. If any of them are left to collect. Engaging! <laughs> More artillery. We shouldn't feel it this far underground. Yeah, I got you. I see him. Okay, right. Let's see. Battle orders. Uh, you can close. And then move up to here. Take cover. Then critical strike. Uh, that Hit guy hard. already is in cover, but and you can throw down a mine. Although, can you throw that far enough? Yeah, that put a mine there. Might do enough. And scatter both of them because I need that guy to get out of. Mine Drop a scatter there. Okay. Clearing the area. Time for this one to combo Let's kill. Move. Oh, this is so fucking awesome. This is way too awesome for ever to be in a game. This has to slow down or it's gonna be ridiculously awesome. I think that's probably where we need to go, but yeah, just gonna have a look around. Can we not? Oh, no, we can't go over that. Oh, mixing up buttons like a madman over here. Pistol, M14, yeah, I'll take the ammo. Can't go up anymore. All right, Let's set over here. Not being attacked. Always a good sign. What were they doing with the Illyrium down here? Everything. Reactors, munitions, all kinds of stuff. Some of the things I saw, it was just like out of one of the old Captain Thunderclap serials. F Captain Thunderclap serial? What the fuck are you talking about, sir? I'm guessing that was a serial in the fucking 60s or 70s or wherever this is. I keep forgetting. What the fuck is this? Is this the Illyrium thing? Huh? Illyrium reactors. You better believe it. 
reactor like this must put out as much juice as the Hoover Dam. Holy shit. The Hoover Dam is massive. I know, because I've seen it in Fallout New Vegas. Jesus. Those walls were supposed to withstand a nuclear blast. Let's get out before the whole place comes down. Oh, this isn't good. Oh, never mind. Let's take them down! Let's take them down! Oh, shit. God damn it. Shit, 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 shit. I'll keep them down! Get the fuck in here. Okay, right. Uh... Yeah, I want you to cloak. Camouflage. Cloak activated. That seems like a really nice thing to do. Just cloak. Oh wow, they have a fucking turret. Get behind cover. And I want you to critical strike. Yeah, the gun Hit turret. It hard. I want you to scatter all of these douches. I don't know if that's going to hit them too. Force I think it probably will. And I want you to throw down the turret right. Actually, how far? Oh, I can we move up to here. Yeah, put Flash it down it here. Need extra firepower. And a mine. For this little small dude here. Lay down a mine. All right. Deploying turret. Mine out. Getting down to it. I've got this one. Oh wow, Kenny is maybe fucking dead. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I, I don't know what cooldowns are. Oh yeah, they're yeah. I can't do anything right now. Uh, you are in a pretty dangerous position right there. Yeah, we can mark this guy as a target. Take it out! Here goes! Yeah, Attack. go for him as well. Wow, they're actually flanking on us as well. So the AI isn't completely dumb or anything. Come on, piece of shit. Oh wow, that guy over there is still alive as well. Okay, we should have some things back yet. Yeah, you have a mine, although I think there's only one enemy, that's the guy over there. There we go. That's it. Let's keep moving. There you go, Kinney killed there though. No, Kinney. And we did we save anyone? I don't think so. Yeah. Nuclear bombs. Bigger than any nuke we have now. Way bigger. Fuck out of the way. I'm gonna explore over here a little bit, see if there's anything I can pick up. Doesn't look like it. Can I go for this, like... I can. Oh, that's pretty sweet, and it looks sweet as well. Everything's sweet about this game so far. Huh? Oh, crap, what the... <laughs> I can fuck out. Oh, shit! Can't take much more of that! Can't take much more of that. Oh, that's amazing. What were they building down here? <laughs> Weapons fabrication. No end to the things Illyrium could do there. Anything we can use? Not unless you want to carry a bomb. I don't. I don't they're like getting you. closer. Oh shit! Are they? I was gonna hit you again, but never mind. Then we're getting closer. The war room is this way. What is this? Bullets? Yeah, it is. Don't need them bullets anymore, boy. Okay. Holy shit! Why? What are they doing? This place is coming down. We gotta get the hell out of here. Yeah, that would probably First be a good idea. First we the brass, then we evac. The brass. The war room is just ahead. So let's have a look over here for a I'm, uh, I'm putting it. Oh, that's a shotgun, actually. I don't want that damn shotgun. I'll probably give it another try at some point. But for now, I really like this gun, actually. Like, there's a difference. I really like Nothing this one, good. and I really dislike Whoa. the shotgun. So it's like a really easy choice for me at the moment. If I only barely like this thing, then, then I could go for the other thing. Anyway, General Deems, Director Falk has nothing have been nothing less than cagey as regards to as regards to findings of this, his team at the operation in Montana. The director has flat out ignored requests to deliver the apparatus in, uncovered in the Bannock mines to our laboratories here in Fort Groom. That's a mouthful. He claims to have secured the artifact in an undisclosed facility, the whereabouts of which are so highly classified that I can't even verify the place even exists. Falk is protected all the way up to the up to the chain up the chain, well beyond my pay grade. I've informed him repeatedly that the request to transfer up the object comes down from you, sir, but he still refuses to acquiesce Ac acquiesce? Ac I don't know what the fuck that means. Uh, well, I I assume I know what it means, but I don't know what it's how to say it. I've done all I can, sir. Colonel Wetterfruit. <laughs> nice name there, you son. Oh, fucking hell. Piece of shit. What the hell, man? That's not cool. 
I need that ammo. I'm full? Oh, no, I didn't think I was full. Oh, that's his pistol. General Deems, are you alright, sir? Where's Fogg? What happened here? I'll ask the question, son. Yes, sir. Director Falk is at the rail platform. Our orders are to escort you there immediately. Then lead the way. General! Clear the target, now! <laughs> That's not Deems! He's one of them! Nils, get back! Just hang on, sir. It's gonna be... Okay! <laughs> Why did you stop me? What the hell were you thinking? I was thinking that I just saved your life. <laughs> She's like, what the hell were you thinking? Well, we obviously didn't know he was a fucking bad guy. Come on. Uh, who are you? Who are you? What the hell are you doing in the war room? Senior Agent Angela Weaver from the Bureau. The director sent me here to guard the brass. Great work there. You did just fine there. Are any of them still alive? Deems was already under outsider control when I got here. Some of them put up a fight, but not for long. Uh, right. What caused them to change? One of their puppets attacked me earlier. What's causing this? I'm not sure, but obviously it's connected to this attack. We've been tracking cases like this for years. How'd this happen? Deems was one of our top brass. How did he come under their control without anybody realizing? As far as we know, there's no way of telling who might be susceptible to their control. If they got to Deems, they could get to any of us. Why didn't you just uh, stop him before? You knew that he killed Hoover and the others. You could have taken him out earlier. I was going to, but he was resisting their control. He might have been able to fight it off. I shot him to stop him from killing the three of you. Oh, thank you. Sort this out later, even though we just sorted it all. We have to get out of here. Falk ordered us to bring any survivors to the rail platform. The diesel will only get you as far as the test site. Can we radio for evac from there? We're nearly out of time. Get to the rail platform and head out to the test site. I'll call in a Sky Ranger, collect Falk, and meet you there. If you can't reach the test site, we'll have no choice but to leave without you. Thanks, bitch. General Deems. I can't believe this. All of them. Dead. Who's in command now? Falk is. And until we hear otherwise, we assume that he's in charge. Did you feel that? Oh, he's the president. Did you feel Jesus. that? Holy what shit. What is that? Some kind of power source. Like those reactors back there. Those weren't bombs they were launching into the ground? No. I think they have other plans. What does it do? I don't want to be here when it does it. I thought the ground was moving there for a second. What's causing all this? This guy is such an idiot. Why is this happening to me? What's going on right now? Holy shit, guys. Hold on. Uh, Alright, I want you to laser turrets right there. Put up a turret! I want you to move right up here. Here, whatever. And I want you to stand scatter the shit out of all these fuckers. Drop a scatter there. And throw a mine down there as well. Mine that area. And you. I want you to cloak. Cloak. And I want you to move around this way. That's that's actually a little bit too risky. We'll do it right here. And then I want you to critically strike that guy. Hit hard. All right. Sounds good to me. Oh, shit! Outsiders on the rail platform. <laughs> Carter, what do we do? We go through them. Ready your weapons. Yo, Kenny's nearly dead again. Oh, c -c -c combo kill! Oh, he's dead. Oh, holy shit! That was the last one. Oh, how good am I right now? Well, actually, how good is Kenny? Before this whole place comes apart. Kenny takes damage, but he fucking does damage as well. It's ridiculous. All right, let's open the gate here. This will take us to the test site. Come on, Carter! All for? aboard! Start it. Look at this old train. Looks awesome. Made it. Too fucking close. Carter, this is Falk. We are en route. Take the diesel to the test site and signal us when you arrive. Oh no! I didn't like that. Hold on to. 
to something? Look at that thing! All right. Should be a radio up there. And I just hope they haven't left yet. Oh right. I was. I thought. I thought there was no, no thing. But whatever. Anyway, I am full on bullets. I probably could have just seen that. Whoa! There's Come oh on, a Carter, sniper. Radio in. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I don't have that. Standard U.S. military model, 1903 A4, high-powered .30-06 bolt-action sniper rifle. Sounds good to me. There's a lot of bullets here, so I'm thinking that this might not uh, get easy, or be easy, or is easy. I am full on bullets, aren't I? Yeah, how many? Oh, wow. Okay, right. Oh, let me do that. Okay, that's that's pretty cool. Um, do I not radio here? Where do I radio? That is, oh, this is probably a pretty decent space to be. And this is probably where we have to wait as well, because we're waiting for a helicopter, I would presume. Oh, here's the radio. Uh, I don't use the grenades enough. I need to change the hotkey for the grenades, because I don't use, like, there, apparently there's something for pressing the middle mouse button, but I haven't, it's zoom or something, but zoom is the right mouse button, so I don't know exactly what it is, so I'm probably just going to switch it to that. Anyway, you guys don't need to know about that. Falk, Agent Weaver, anyone? Copy, Agent Carter. Sky Ranger 1 reads you. I've got Falk and Weaver, and I am inbound to your location. Okay. Defend my position. I don't like the look of that bomb up there. Would you rather head back to the base? Should be fine. As long as we don't start any tests. Right? I'm gonna put a laser turret. Uh... Right over here. Oh, actually, hold on, F5. Oh, wow. Turret there! Deploying turret! Mine. I don't know if that thing is an enemy or something, but I'm gonna place a mine right Lay down there. a mine! And... You're going to... Hide. Cloak. I don't... Cloak activated! Didn't have to actually... Oh. Wrong button again. Mine out! Don't want that. I want you to move... Over here. Take cover there. And I want you to Here they move come! right over there, and I'll keep the middle. Be there in two shades. They're down below. Let us know where you want us, Carter. All right. Oh wow. Wow, I'm a horrible shot right now. There we go. I'll take some care of the small guys. What do we do? Uh, can I blow up that? There we go. Don't need critical hit anymore, man. We can just take them. Yeah, I'm not gonna waste ammo on him. Where's Falk? Can you see him? I need to get some ammo. Hold on, guys. Carter, Nils, heads up! Come on, Shit, no, I don't. Come on. Fuck, now I wasted the ammo thing. There we go. It's not a whole lot of ammo, but. I don't know either. Okay, let's see. What do we have available right now? We have a lot available. 
Okay, you can throw down a mine. Right Put a there. Mine there. Land mine deployed. Scatter all of these douchebags over here. Scatter on that spot. I want you to critically Yeah, the drop pod, that works. Hit it hard! And I want you to Oh yeah, we got this now. Alright. I think we might need this later though. Yeah, let's not do this yet. Flushing them out! Okay. I've got this one! That'll work. Keep firing, he's almost dead! Oh, got rid of his head. Can I? Yeah, that really doesn't do too much. Wow. This sniper is pretty damn sweet, but not a lot of ammo. Yeah, that's a waste of ammo. Oh, I can see, I can see the... Uh, the things there. That's really nice, actually. I didn't know that. Oh, wow. So we still have the turret and we can put down another one. I don't really want to put it here because then it's easily shot. So put, put it down up there. A turret. Turret out. A mine. Here. Lay down a mine. And don't need the scatter right now. Yeah, let's use the... No, that's not... I don't want to use the fire mission just yet. Almost. Damn it, I keep doing it. that. Mine out. <laughs> I think those things are already blown up anyway. No, it's not. Is that one dead? Oh, I need to reload. Oh, right. Carter, we did it. seeing enemy forces inbound to you. Did it for a while. These fuckers aren't gonna stop. Sky Ranger, how fast can you clear the test site's blast radius? Blast radius? Carter, what are you... I'm gonna start the test sequence. It's the only way to keep them from following us. And get some payback. Carter. He's right, sir. Sky Ranger's built for speed, but it's no match for those outsider ships. All right, do it. Good. Let's give those bastards something to remember. All right. Let's. Well, we can fill up on ammo and things first. And let's see. Yep, that's max. I assume. Yeah, I do need to start it here. Uh. All right. Can I? Can I change this pistol for a different gun? Listen, we're not safe and we're sure as hell not done fighting. Do exactly Can. what I say and we'll get through this. Yes, sir. <coughs> we're with you, Agent Carter. Okay, well, since this uh, doesn't actually go... Oh, fuck, what are you doing over here, man? Oh, fuck's sake, I keep doing that. I need you to move. No, not mark the target. I need you to move. I think they have to go for this. Oh wow! Oh wow! It's up here. Okay, More never mind. Inbound. Okay, stay Use up here. Cover. Uh, laser turret right here. Turret there. And a mine right here. And I need to get the fuck Put back. A mine there. Where are you? You're here. Yeah, you need to get Eat back as well. Contact. Can't move very far at all. Uh, okay. Well, in that case, don't move. Fuck, close. Camouflage. I need critical strike this thing here. Oh, critical strike the fucking Finish drone. Yeah, off. that's a good idea. Okay. We got it coming. Landmine deployed. Oh my god! Oh my god! Wow, that is not very good. I need help. Yeah, I need you to revive me here. Help! On my way, Carter. It's pretty shit because I didn't really start. I didn't think I was gonna be able to start here, or I was gonna actually start here. Uh, you don't need to revive. Yeah, you are reviving me, so... Sky Ranger to Carter. Agent Carter, respond. This is Carter. Cutting it close, aren't you? We're coming in. Get on board. Get the fuck back without dying. Uh, you need to move back. Need to move right over here. Get behind cover! Moving! And you need to scatter... This guy. Drop a scatter there. And I'll take him out. Set up. And we can escape. All right, let's do that. Get in. Can we get in? Yes, we can. Yay! I think we did it. surprise 
All right, invasion. Okay, what's going on here? Total time, 44 minutes and 14 seconds. Aerial photo photography of the Groom Range facility indicates the almost total destruction due to combined effects of the surprise attack from unenforced and the unscheduled detonation of classified prototype ordnance. Efforts to recover technology or personnel are not advised as it is likely that enemy opposition has remained on site. The survivors of this attack exfiltrated to an undisclosed location in order to evacu evaluate counterattack options. Squad status, I got 37 kills, and Niels and Kinney both got 17. Yeah, Kinney is amazing, because we got him quite a bit later than Niels, and he's up on par as well. Oh, he's ranked 5, though. Oh, that's why I don't have any freaking abilities, because I'm ranked 1. But good kills, 37. Acquired technology, M14, frag grenade, M... Yeah, the shotgun, sniper rifle, standard pack, and a machine pistol. We haven't seen that, but okay. And, right, so... Uh, these are the enemies. Wow, 33 outsiders and 36 sectors. It's pretty close. And five drones as well. Total kills, 76. Cool. Um, although this doesn't add up to 76. 40, 50, 71. So that means that there's five kills unaccounted for. Maybe, maybe the the turret doesn't doesn't count towards Kenny's kills. I don't know. <sighs> Regardless, I like his turret. In visual range now, sir. Preparing final approach. Control, this is Sky Ranger 1 requesting permission to land. Copy, Sky Ranger. Permission granted. You are cleared for pad number 3. Gonna take more than a hole in the ground to beat those things. Just admit it, you're impressed. So, what is the Bureau anyway? Bureau of Operations and Command. Never heard of it. You were never meant to. This base wasn't meant to be operational for another year. We've called in every operative we had earmarked for the project, but, well, let's just say that we'll be a bit understaffed. Director Falk, sir. Welcome back. These two are with me. Well, at least this location is secure. And I intend for it to stay that way. I'll be giving a report to all staff at 0300. Report to the operations room at that time. I have a lot to prepare, Carter. Agent Weaver will show you around. Down here, Carter. Come on. When Ivan put Sputnik up, the brass got scared. This project became top priority. Off the books, of course. That did it. Hold it there. Uh, don't move it. All right, people. Show's over. Back to work. Carter, this is Nico De Silva, senior field agent. Nico, you'll be sharing your workspace with Agent Carter. Welcome to the most advanced facility on Earth. Falk wants him up and running ASAP. Time is of the essence. Straight from his mouth. Gotcha. Well, come on. Our office is right over here. That weaver is one tough broad. So, this is us. This is my desk here. Yours is over there. Get comfortable, Will. Things as they are. This is both your office and your quarters. Uh, do you mind if I call you Will? Yes, I do mind. Well, I'm not calling you Agent Carter. I might be military, but I'm not that formal. I prefer William. Yeah, well, I prefer Nico, even if my mother insists on calling me Nicholas. There are some things that are just beyond our control. I can see we'll be fast friends, you and I. Glad to hear it. My supply of friends got cut a bit short lately. That all, De Silva? Ah, for now, sure. You have any questions, just ask. And one more thing. Yeah? The old man, Director Falk. He's a hard man to impress, but you managed it. Not what I expected after reading your file. <laughs> Only pleasant surprise I've had all day. You read my file? How dare you? How many people around here know my history? We all know each other. Don't worry, you'll get to read up on us too. The old man thinks that the more attached we are to one another, the better we'll be in the field. The Bureau might be an adjustment for you. We work in teams here. Seems like you're more accustomed to operating alone. Yeah, well, I'm also accustomed to the enemy being human. 
An attack like this, it's gonna mean a lot of adjustment for everybody. I'm a different man today than I was yesterday, you know? Ain't that the truth. Where were you during the attack, you son of a gun? Where were you this morning? Did you get caught in... in any of this? No. I was out gathering intel on a weather anomaly way out in the boondocks. Something was interfering with television and radio signals. Everything except the heavy-duty military gear. Since the attack, it's gone global. They shut down our communication just before the attack. Keep us from coordinating. Smart. Sure, but there's one way it helped us. Can you imagine the panic if the public found out about an alien attack? True that. Tell me about the organization. You seem like you know your way around this place. I don't typically work out of this facility. Hell, no one really did until today. I'm with the NSA, but my post for the past few months has been with a small team that reports to Director Falk. Anomalies? What type? Different types, but all, well, supernatural. Sounded silly to say it until a few hours ago. Mostly weather oddities, but also we've been recovering deposits of this Illyrium stuff. Who else is on this team? It was supposed to be kept small until it was needed. Now, people who were pre-flagged for recruitment are coming in. Well, the ones that are still alive. People were pre-selected? From where? From the military, the clandestine service, DIA, even some civvies. No one knew that they were selected until they got the call. As of this morning, Valk activated the project and sent that call out. And before today? For the last few years, it's just been a couple dozen specialists. But now, we got a lot of new squaddies to bring up to speed. Alright, see you dude. Oh, by the way, yeah, being of NSA right now, very bad choice. I need to get myself oriented. Let's talk later. Sure thing, Will. Good to have you on board. Obviously they had that implemented... Sounds like the director's about to start. Come on, let's get the good seats. Obviously that was already in this game, um, before all of that stuff, I assume, but still. Anyway, have a quick look at his, uh, at his profile. Yeah, we're actually gonna run a little bit, uh, high on this, uh, on this uh, episode, but that's alright. Anyway, I'm not gonna read all this shit. If you want, you can you can do so. I'll just scroll through it slowly, pause wherever you want to. I will probably read some of the things, but this is all a little bit too much for my my choice right there. Anyway, uh, what's this over here then? Oh, that's my profile. Cool. I do want to kind of have a look at this real quick. Ugh, that's a lot of stuff. William James Carter, 1920 in T Tulsa. Education via bullshit engineering in the Indiana University. I am a widow, apparently. Uh, mother, 1952. Father, 59. Wife, 59. And son, 59. Okay, so something bad happened in 59. That's for sure. I'm sure it will probably be in here. Well, you Carter joined the army December. So yeah, whatever. Leaving college to enlist shortly after the attack on Pearl Harbor. He saw action in the Pacific Theater and earned the rank of Major Master Sergeant with commendations for his service on the Burma campaign. His service ended on October 25, 1945, after which he returned to college on the G.I. Joe. <laughs> uh, shortly after graduating, the CIA recruited Carter in 1948 as a field operative. His quick thinking and bravery served him while he rose through the ranks, earning personal commendations from Director Hoover and President Truman. He excelled at deep cover assignments, serving for weeks of, or months at a time in that place or and the USSR. Here we go. 1959, during a deep cover assignment in Laos, a fire at his family home in Arlington killed his father, wife, and son. However, due to the communications blackout of this mission, his mission, Carter did not learn of the tragedy until he returned in 1960. Holy shit, that's pretty crap. He alternates between blaming himself and the agency for tra for this tragedy. This, as much as anything else, led to his drinking problem. Following a string of disciplinary charges in December of 1960, William Carter was reassigned to domestic operations only. Continued problems led to a further demotion to the administrative duties in June of 1961. Director's addendum. Myron, this one is aggressive, temperamental, and defensive, but he gets the job done. I don't recommend him, but the Bureau is your department. If you assist on him, I re don't recommend a long-term position. The man used to be a hero, but now he's busy destroying himself. He's not useful for any more except as an expendable asset said Mr. Edgar Hoover. Keep that in mind, Hoover. All right. Lights.
We are at war. And not the one we were expecting. Groom range, 2100 hours. Survivors, six. In just a few minutes, our enemy managed to destroy the primary strategic command center. By 2130, strategic command itself ceased to exist. Our combined military forces have been routed. The comms have gone dark. The red phone will not be ringing. And that is why, as of now, I, Myron Falk, am assuming command of what's left of our nation's defenses. The Bureau was founded to coordinate resistance forces in the event of a complete and successful Soviet invasion. That mission remains the same, even if our enemy does not. We now face an opponent from beyond our world, whose identity is yet unknown. But make no mistake, this enemy has crippled us. They have technology decades beyond what we possess. We must make it our own. Their weapons will become our weapons. And when they do, we shall annihilate them. I give you new orders. Survive. Adapt. Win. Welcome to XCOM. can help them. Let me help them! Will. 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 Carter. Hey, Will, wake up. <sighs> what? Jesus, Carter. How is it you look worse than before you went to sleep? <laughs> I'm fine. And you yelling for me to wake up doesn't help. <laughs> I wasn't the one yelling. Uh, I was yelling. What did I say? Something about a fire. I don't know. I guess after the morning you had, it makes sense. No, this wasn't about that. It wasn't about Grim Range. Well, my guess is you're not the only one having nightmares after this morning. Head shrinking's gonna be a big business after this war. If there isn't after this war. Ugh, Christ, that was dark. Anyway, Falk's looking for you. Wants you in his office, ASAP. Uh, what does he want? The old man say what he wanted with me. Ha! <laughs> Guess you don't know him all that well yet. The director doesn't tell anyone anything. He doesn't think they... need to know. Well, I guess you can't really hold knocking off for a few against me. Seeing as how we seem to be in our office and our quarters. Yeah, I guess some parts of the emergency plan leave something to be desired. Ah well. It'll be just like college, right? Yeah. Except I stayed in Mrs. Hawthorne's boarding house back in Terre Haute. Had my own bathroom and everything. Well, ain't you fancy? Yeah, what the fuck, man? I need to brag. Are you saying something about that radio? Oh, yeah. Cheap thing normally just pipes in the company elevator music, but it's been picking up some weird signal. Damned if I know what it is. Don't we have more important issues to deal with? Uh, sure, that's why I haven't bothered with it. But if someone on the outside is able to broadcast through that jamming signal, well, it could be important. Who would know more about this? Check with Operator Chelsky. She's information officer for the Bureau. Keeps track of communications, arranges contacts, manages what the public hears. The whole deal. All right, talk to you later. I'd better go see what the old man wants. See you later, Will. I will indeed see you later. All right, and that just saved, so I think that is a good time for me to call quits. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching so far. Definitely lots and lots of fun. Uh, up until this point, and I'm sure I will continue. Um, obviously, I haven't put anyone in the game yet, but um, that will be, I guess, yeah, when I when I get to the point where I can put people in the game. I know for a fact that I can put people in the game, so don't be don't be alarmed that you might not be in there. But anyway, uh, I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time. Have a good day. Bye bye.